We'll start off just as a tablet. So you can see, really optimized um, for a great touch experience overall. Uh, once, you know, like, like I was mentioning earlier, we're using a AI to predict which applications we think you're gonna go to next. And we're seeing a very, very high click-through rate in these. And that's what's suggested up here. And of course, you know, all your, all your typical touch support for moving around the device. So just tap here, I'll bring you right to my photos. Yeah, just go right to your photos. Um, another great thing, um, you know, it, this is the full desktop version of the Chrome browser. It's not a mobile browser, so you're not limited by extensions in the mobile version of a site. Uh, great multi, multi windowing support built That's right easy. in. Yeah, and then you can just slide it back on out. Ah. Slide it back on out. I know it's tough to do it with one hand. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, and then uh, you can see just the, the you know the amazing amazing display. Uh, we have we packed six million pixels into a 12.3 inch display, just giving you an incredibly great vibrant uh, view. Let me see if we got a good video to play. You can see like a. a an 8K, an 8K video like this, this looks, looks absolutely amazing. So is this displaying in 8K or is it? it is, no, it would be displaying in 4K on here. Okay, but it is 4K. Yeah. Google says you need to be So, uh, and then uh, let me, I'll pop it back. So let me do that again. So you can see just with the, with the folio, um, we just pop in, in a snap. And then, you can infinitely adjust it to multiple angles. So, you know, if you just want to lay back at work or the person on the airplane in front of you puts their seat back, right. you can jam it up. Yeah. Um, so we did a lot of work on the folio design to really go for that infinite adjustability. Um, these iconic round keys, we're actually quite excited about it. Uh, it's a really, really beautiful um, design. Um, backlit, uh, full backlit keys, so I can turn it on. And it's, it's hard to see the backlit uh, here. Round, huh? Yeah. Now what's, why the round choice? Um, you know, you saw like, in, in talking about design overall, you know, round, soft corners, like taking technology and making it a little bit softer and more blended into our lives is something that we're doing quite a bit overall from a design perspective. And, you know, our, our design team, as we talked to them about it, especially in a device like this in a folio, we thought like a, a round uh, type of key just brings in more warmth to the design overall. And then actually with users, what we found is there's probably maybe like a day of adjustments getting used to typing on round keys, but then we actually see people's uh, typing speed and accuracy go up. Because, uh, you know, on square keys, when you're typing over here, you can accidentally hit the corner of the one next to it. So we actually, all of us, you know, we've all been using this keyboard for a long time now. Uh, and, and, you know, I totally fall in love. And trackpad and it, here. Yeah, full, size, full, full trackpad support. And um, let's see what the camera looks like here. Like. Oh, wow, so it is wide. Yeah, total wide field of view. Um, really going for video chat overall. Oh, wow. Okay. And the back camera, let me switch over to it. You can see the wall, <laughs> but, you know. And then you it's quite, good, quite good image quality. Dual app on here now? Uh, yes. That's new, right? Yeah. When's that coming out? Um, we'll be rolling out very soon. Yeah, off the top of my head, I don't know the exact date, but uh, soon. Uh, all right, yeah, sorry. We, I think one thing I'll show overall is like when you hear like in the launcher, you know, back to it, you know, what is a typical Chromebook experience? And of course, those the app recommendations are sitting right there. And then uh, dedicated assistant key, uh, similar to what, like what, just like what we launched on Pixelbook last year. Uh, we're seeing pr great usage of the assistant. And, and in fact, we're seeing about half the usage is typical, you know, okay, Google voice type commands. Right, sorry, how'd you get that up there? Uh, well, you can you can invoke the assistant in two main ways. You can say, uh, okay, Google, uh, this one's not trained in my voice and just talk to it like a Google home or this key oh, right oh, here, okay. this dedicated That's key good. for the assistant. Got it. Um, and you can ask it all sorts of questions and, and other things like that. And then where's the pencil on here? That, what do you what do you call this? Uh, this is the Pixelbook pen. So uh, it's now in midnight blue, just to match as a color. But it's the same pen that we launched last year with with, with Pixelbook. Um, so a great thing we've we've done with the pen is um, again this is like all the parts of Google working together. So we've actually gotten it down to zero milliseconds of latency. 
And we did that through a bunch of great hardware engineering work we did of uh, the actual pen itself and the touch sensor and the display. Uh, and then at the operating system level, we, we accelerate how to take the touch input and get it back out to the display. And then um, we developed a ML model that is predict based on a lot of handwriting. We can actually guess and predict where you're going next and we draw the line out ahead of you. Um, so that's how we're really able to take what had typically been 20, 30 milliseconds of latency on most active styluses down to virtually zero on our product. And what's great with that, then it makes, you know, writing just like on what, feel like on, uh, what's your? Rich. Rich. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm the worst writer, though. Yours yeah. is better than mine. Look at mine. <laughs> well, at least I could read yours. <laughs> yeah. So we're really, you know, we're really proud. We're seeing a lot of usage of, of this as well. One other cool little thing um, I'll highlight as well. On the keyboard, we now have you know, a virtual keyboard that you can move all over the place. You can actually you know, pop it back out to full screen. Um, you can actually write. So what's, what's your website? Uh, richontech.tv. Rich. You see it's uh, yeah. on tech. So you can kind of do that input. Huh? Yeah. So we can go back over here. Another cool thing, actually, one other way to invoke the assistant is the stylus has a has an assistant button, so you can actually hold the button. What was that? What did this do? So you hold the button down and circle something, and the assistant is actually going to take action. Let me find something we can actually pull up. Um, it's really cool. Like if you're reading an article and you want to look up something, you're like, "What building is that?" So let me see. No, I won't pick. I won't do it. So you just hold the button down, circle, microwave oven. So it picked up from that picture that there was a microwave oven in there. So it's really, really good as you're reading blogs and stuff like that. It's another fun yeah, fun way to invoke the assistant while you're doing a lot of creative work. Oh, probably the last thing I'm going to show is the, uh, this is not trained to my fingerprints, but the power, the power button is a fingerprint sensor. So when you set it up, you can train it to your fingers and then just unlock the device. You just simply tap right there and unlock the device. Any other features around the edges? So this is a USB-C on the side? Yeah, you, two, two USB-C ports on, on each side. You see the, the front firing speakers. Okay. Um, a lot of tablets actually have their speakers pointing down the bottom or out the back. Yeah. Uh, so we put it right on the front of the thing. You know, very similar to our Pixel phone design where we've got really great front firing speakers. And what are these up here, microphones? Yeah. Bottom. What kind of connector is this? Just proprietary uh, or what? Yeah, it, it's 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 something we developed for this. It's, you know, it's a, uh, pogo, pogo pins, to really, and so that that allows us like this doesn't need to be independently charged. It draw you know draws it draws all the power from the tablet, unless you just snap in and connect right away. Uh, let me see you just connect it one more time. Close it up. Sure. And, uh... You see, it doubles as a full, full AO to carry around the device. 